to you by Domino's. It is a live show, so get involved. I want to see all your comments. I even want you to tell me if I have lipstick on my teeth because I'm pretty worried about it. <laughs> so, what does the second live show of summer have in store? Let me tell you. Ooh, this week it is being all about Ibiza Oaks at Hollyoaks. So, who better to join us than the troublesome McTween McQueen twins, played by Manny yeah. and Theo? They are going to be chatting to us about a lad's holiday and <laughs> Saturn holiday romances. Woo! Next, we have a very special visitor. And no, I'm not talking about Sarah Jane Dunn. But you are quite fabulous, but I am talking about the very cute Ming Ming. Woo! We are going to be chatting about Mandy's return to Hollyoaks and seeing what style advice Ming Ming the dog can bring us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and lastly, we'll be talking to Lauren McQueen and oh. Alex Fletcher about, yeah, woo -woo, about Lily's upcoming storyline and the next chapter to the hashtag Don't Filter Feelings campaign. On top of that, we have loads of fun features to keep you entertained along the way and loads more summer secrets. Like seriously, we have some massive spoilers. Exactly, so let's get started. Yeah, Ibiza Oaks has taken over this week. There is um, the arrival of a uh, new body, Brody. That very forbidden kiss a rather tragic tattoo and some uh, very fine veg. Let's have a look. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Thank you, Jude. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, Ibiza. Hi. Nobody's here to see us. So who cares what anyone else thinks? Ibiza oh, is actually amazing. I was there this weekend. However, this was not there that weekend. So I guess you guys probably had a better time than I did. We have the amazing Theo and Malik in the studio now. Yeah, what? Prince the Queen. Guys, how was Ibiza? And it, did it actually feel like work? No. Yeah, it did for me. <laughs> <laughs> it did for me. All right, no, hear me out. I was there for the whole week, working non-stop. So I did, I, yeah. it was lovely, I loved it. You know what, he, he had a lot more than what I So yeah, it, it did so. feel like work, but it was in it, an enjoyable sort of... I mean, you say he had a lot more, but you did have um, quite an epic fail of a tattoo. And <laughs> was it real or is it a transfer? Oh, no, it's not real. Do you want me to, do you want to look at it? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, oh, I have oh, one. Oh, 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 do you want to look at it? There's nothing there, man. There's nothing there. Oh, oh, oh give it a rest. I mean, I mean, no, I mean there's the nothing there. there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Do either of you have tattoos in real life? Yeah, no. yeah, I've got one like, no, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. I don't have any tattoos. Not yet. I have one, but it's actually like so pathetic. It's a white heart. There we go. Oh. A white heart. <laughs> oh, she actually it's does as well. Okay, but at least it's not Lilo. Why, what, um, can I just ask you, why did you get a white love heart? I don't know. I don't know, I just wanted it. And I was too scared to get a black one. Why? I just I was too scared. Why did you, exactly. you get a tattoo? I'm not here to talk about me, I'm here to talk about <laughs> we'll you guys. Back <laughs> we'll come Don't back to that later. <laughs> um, I want to know if either of you are at all like your characters. I mean, don't yeah. answer me. <laughs> I don't know, you know, actually. Um, there's some things, like, we have in common, like, ladies. <laughs> well, that's it. I, I mean, this is the show of secrets, so I'm sure people want to uh, want to hear it. Mm, well, Prince is really naughty, though. So I'm not a naughty, cheeky I'm, naughty, though. He's a cheeky like naughty. A, a likable I'm, sort of. I'm more chilled and laid back than he is. So yeah. So and what about you, Theo? Hopefully, you're not too much like your character, romancing teachers. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I'd, I'd say I'm, I'm kind, like Hunter, I think. Oh. Um, how have you been enjoying the storyline? Um, it obviously is quite a serious storyline. And um, is Hunter smitten? So smitten. Like, so smitten. He loves her. Like, legit loves her. I'd even say, like, from the first time he saw her in the show, I reckon 
before the the writers even like noticed that it was going to head in that way, like I, I reckon he he definitely felt something. <laughs> Do you think? I know yeah. that, that it does yeah. just have a bigger. Oh no. No, no. No, all right. Just leave me hanging, cool. Um, do you think, what about Nita? Do you think she's taken advantage of Hunter? And does she, do you think that she actually likes him or is she just enjoying the attention? You know what? I want to know both your thoughts. I think like the feelings are genuine between them both. But obviously the situation that she's in, she's a teacher, I'm a pupil. She happens to have taught me. So it's kind of like, that's what's making the situation so wrong. Yeah, because obviously she can get into you know, serious yeah. trouble. Like, like, she can, yeah, she can do, but yeah. you know, he is 16. 16 is like the legal age in the UK. But, she but, can but, get but on the other hand, she works in your school. Yeah, she works so in the school. Weird. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, in any other scenario, if these two like people met in a totally different situation, I think you think they, it would. You think they'd get get along? Yeah. No, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> it would be more the. I don't know. I don't Let's know. Let's go to yeah. like back to Nita and Hunter. Obviously, she can get in serious um, trouble. Yeah. Do you think it's just a holiday romance, or are they going to continue to see each other back in Hollyoaks? Um, well, I don't think now that Hunter knows that Nita's definitely got something for him. I don't think he's going to let it go. Um, I love how they're just not giving away too much, but like, <laughs> yeah. enough to keep us watching. I'm being careful about what I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to say too um, much. Let's take it back to Ibiza because, um, I mean, we've got a very special treat for you, especially you, Theo. And um, do you remember last week, guys, I introduced my favourite segment of the show, which is Heard at Hollyoaks, where we try and get dirt on some of the actors. So, um, oh, no. I'm, I actually shouldn't be the one to tell you. So let's go to VT. Oh, wait, what is this? Sup boys, I am here with the latest bit of Heard at Hollyoaks Goss and this one is coming from the island of Abitha. <laughs> Woo! If I remember correctly, there was a certain member of cast who was given a certain nickname while we were out there by one certain first AD. Theo, care to tell us why you were called the Scarlet Pimpernel? <laughs> <laughs> Theo. What? Scarlet Pimpernel? What? <laughs> Wait, I remember. No, that was. <laughs> oh I think that, let's just go back. Yeah, go back. Yeah. Of course, you know what I'm talking about, Theo. Don't play coy with me, though I thought you might say that. So, oh, the reason he was called the Scarlet Pimpernel is because while we were filming in that amazing villa that you've all seen, he disappeared no less than about seven times <laughs> within the house. Like, just vanished. So, Theo. Care to tell us what you were doing while you snuck away? <laughs> hey! 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 Care to what tell us? What was you doing, Theo? You know what? I have this habit. Like whenever I get the 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 little yeah, you can go to the toilet. Yeah, all right, cool. Cheers. I'm gone. Like I literally and I don't know. I just like exploring randomly whenever I can. Like especially when I'm in a place I mean, that I'm not the, used I mean, to being. I'm like off. yeah, I, I was literally all over well, the place. I went to the toilet <laughs> and then. <laughs> I came out and I'm like, yeah, got to go back to set now. And then I'll just be like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me go and have a look at all that. And then really? before I know it, I just hear, Theo, Theo, it's not a holiday. By Colin, like literally, it's just like, oh, come oh on. Oh my God. Yeah. Milik is to tell the truth. Yeah. 100%. Right, okay. um, and by the way, Gemma Taylor Joseph said, Can she have the cutout? <laughs> I'm getting distracted as well, I know. And um, Mia says, Can you do a shout out? So, um, hi to Mia and to baby Leo. Keep the comments coming. And um, let's move on because Hunter is not the only one with Lady Trouble. Obviously, Prince has got bitten by the love Ooh. bug with Ooh. a certain uh, Lily Drinkwell, who is in the green room. Yeah. There she is. Oh, oh dear. Oh, she's not happy. Thumbs down. Um, she not happy? What's going on? <laughs> How's Lily feeling about Prince? Yeah, no? How is she feeling about... No. Uh, no. So, um, Lily, is Prince well, up to no good then? Um, she's gone very coy. I mean... I don't want to really say too much, but there is something that's happened. <gasps> Does that mean it's the end of the road for hashtag Prilly? I don't know, man. Prince absolutely loves Lily, so I don't know. It depends if she wants to take him back or not. I don't know. So, yeah, do you think that's what I was going to ask? Do you think they'll work it out? Hopefully. I hope so. And what about you guys? So, not, not your characters. If you had to win a woman back, what romantic gesture would you do 
to make a girl forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, yeah, what advice would you give to Prince? <clears throat> I have no advice, I'm going to be straight up. I absolutely have no game whatsoever, <laughs> right? You had it here first. No game whatsoever, oh, no, honestly, no. right? You know this, I've got no game. So, I mean, if it was me, I think the best case scenario for myself was to just, you know, sit her down and tell her how I feel and hope for the best. And if it doesn't it's a bit, it's go a bit. my way, then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> What, you wouldn't fight? No, no. That's a bit dry, I, 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 No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Nice meal, people wines, what would you by do? the beach or something. Not just sitting down in my, on my couch and having a little chat. <laughs> it's not going to take me back by doing that, is she? What? Well, go on, what would you do? Tell nice. me, go on. Like what? No. Take her out go for on. a meal or something, go watch a film or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> do something nice, buy some clothes, some fresh shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no flowers, no. Some flowers, yeah. Some flowers, flowers. Some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I basically think if it was up to these guys, um, Prince would just not get her back. Mm. <laughs> um, I did promise you lots of secrets. It is the Hollyoaks slice of summer, and um, I think we need to get a little bit more personal. So we set up a Twitter poll to find out what secret they would most like to know about you. So um, the winning poll is your weirdest guilty pleasure. So I want to know, what is your weirdest guilty pleasure? I'm not saying it because you it's... You have to. Come on, have to come on. It. You say it first. All right, you know what? My guilty pleasure. <sighs> so I've recently like, started driving and I'm on the motorway a lot. So if I've had oh. a long day and I'm, I'm on my own, <laughs> I'm driving back on the motorway. Sometimes I like to just listen to music and, you know, when the road's clear, just look out the window and pretend like I'm, I'm in a movie scene or something like that. <laughs> Sometimes oh, I am guilty. God. I am guilty if of having done that. If that if <laughs> Don't that, judge me, all right? No, 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 no. Don't if, judge no, me. No, 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 no. If that's your weirdest guilty pleasure, I am not <laughs> saying that. Go on, Come on. I am not. Come on. Twitter has spoken. Your fans are watching and they're going to be scared. If I say, if I say my weirdest guilty pleasure, I'm going to lose all my fans. You won't now don't we want to know. Come on. Now we want to know. On. Right. Come on. All right. Deep breath. I got you, man. I got you. Are you sure you want to hear this, everyone? We want to yeah. hear it. I don't. I'm not saying it. No, 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 no. Come on, come right. on, come on. Come on. Say it. Come on. Basically, um, I get. I mean, in your own my time. My toes, yeah. My toes, yeah. Sometimes they get a bit dry in it. So sometimes I pick the skin off my toes. <laughs> Said it. I'm not bothered anymore. Well, let's go Start to the there. green room. Um, how are we feeling about that? <laughs> Wait, I feel like. Are well, you in character right now? Or. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's just... um, wow. Right, enough wow. questions. It is time for a challenge. We love a challenge, don't we? Exactly. Um, we know that Prince <laughs> Hunter love a dance. Yeah. Let's have a little look. Leg day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> is who is the better dancer because Theo I feel like you didn't get to show off your full potential there so therefore we need to have a dance off uh, and you kind of look really gassed about it though as it's the summer of secrets the winner is going to reveal a secret about next week's Hollyoaks and this is a really good secret so um boys time to stretch off go get ready in the in the green room and it's time we checked in with acting gurus Dwayne and Parry for the acting 101 lesson. <laughs> this one is acting in the heat, so take it away. Can't both be in the centre. Uh, okay, all right, so let me be in the centre then. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm Dwayne. I'm Parry. And welcome to episode two of Acting 101. And today's lesson is all about acting in the heat. Hot, sweaty, just <laughs> uh, 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 Mate, how many days have you wore that? Now the main point is to think about when acting in the heat is uh, is uh, uh, given hydrated. Hydration. Hydration. Water. Perfect. Water. Um, lemonade. Uh, lemonade. Yes. Uh, apple juice. Apple juice. Ice. Yes, 
going ice, yeah, which yeah. is water, so it's just frozen. Um, because when you sweat, you need to make sure you're not losing all the liquids in your... Are you okay? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean, I'm, I'm Why are you taking your top off? Because I'm hot. In the middle of a video, you can't just take your top off and the, just because you're hot. Just wait. Yeah, I can see that, but the video is all about acting in the heat. Yes. So this so is... We're in the middle. Is this what you would do on set? You just take your top off in the middle of the scene. Oh, so oh. Cut. Oh, sorry, I'm hot. I'm taking my top off. I'm gonna do no, no, no. no. Shoot. You're talking about water, hydration yes. and all these things. What better advice to give than when you're hot, just take off your top? Right. Who do you think you are to tell me that my idea is wrong? In acting. It's acting 101. I understand it's acting 101. No, you had your idea. Yeah, I had yeah. mine. Okay. It's just that some ideas are better than others. When okay. you're acting and it's hot, take off your top. That I don't think rubbish. it's a logical Lesson. explanation. When do you ever do that in the middle of a scene? But why not? Have you ever done it? Maybe we should start doing it, Harry. Maybe why? we should. <laughs> All right, and you know what? You say what you want to say then. Go on, do it. I did. I said I had my bit. Oh, you're just going to turn your back to. Uh, okay, mature. Hydration. Make sure that your body. You said is... that already. Yes, because that's the only valid point that we've got right now, other than take your top off. Oh, yeah, I do think my idea is better than yours, Parry. I do. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right then. Well, if you think your idea is so much better than mine, yeah, you do the rest of the video. Are you okay with that? <laughs> Barry. I, I was hot, Harry. <laughs> Harry, I, I was hot. I didn't mean to upset him, I was, I was just hot. So good. I mean, I don't know how much I learned, but um, I'm definitely feeling a little bit hot being sandwiched <laughs> amongst all those bodies. Um, shout out to Jessica, who says Hunter's a proper cutie, and Mary Boyd said Prince and Hunter Oh, brilliant. And on that note, it is time for Theo and Malik to go head to head in the dance off. So Woo! let's get those beats on and find out who is better and who will be revealing our massive secret. Smoothest moves. I think we should ask the green room. What do you think? We all think Theo. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of can't help but feel that is a, a political uh, choice, maybe. Maybe that's a character choice. Um, but Theo, what is the secret? And Cindy. But drum roll. It's coming back. <laughs> that is actually really bad news. I was kind of hoping for some happy news, but it is um yeah, that is really sad. Um, let's move on to the next part of the show and um, we'll catch up with Sarah and her amazing dog, Ming Ming. But first, Woo! let's Woo! see her in action. Hey, so the fridge freezer is on the blink again. Alice fish fingers have defrosted. How was your day? Not much better, I'm afraid. The cat phone's gone bust, I can't go back there. What? Well, the way he runs the business is a joke. I mean, I could do it with my eyes closed. You mean you've been given the boot for drinking again? <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll find something else. Do you know you should get that printed on a t-shirt? 
In the meantime, the council tax is overdue. We still haven't paid the rent and social services are sniffing down on it. Maddie, I don't need this. I'm trying, all right? Try harder. You know, I clean offices at six o'clock in the morning. I come back here, scrub this place, feed our daughter. Anyone can pick up a feather duster. Well, go on then and be my guest. Mandy! When are you going to be a proper father figure for Ella? She needs stability. We both do. Very exciting times, and um, Sarah, thanks so much for joining us. And, and Ming Ming, your adorable dog, I feel like we need to chat. But first, <laughs> let's talk about that exclusive sneak peek. It looks like it's tough times Happy for Luke times, and Mandy. Eh? Yeah, Why? Yeah, Why is okay. it so hostile? Um, well, Luke's got his problems, and Mandy's finding it hard to deal with. Um, they love each other, but you know they're going through a tough time, and they're as you can see struggling and living in a bit of a dive and trying to trying hard to pull money together so it's just a stress on their relationship so do you think it's fair to say that they have quite a challenging future ahead and if so what can be done to fix it they have got a bit of a challenging time i mean they've both been away from um, hollyoaks for, for quite a long time and um, so there's a lot of storytelling to be done and there's a lot that we don't know about what's gone on yet um, and I hope that things can be fixed between them. Mm. Me too, me too. Oh, and I think it is fair to say that uh, Mandy had quite a few share, a fair share of admirers in the past. Yes. So, yeah. do you think that maybe another man might come along to comfort her oh. during these hard times? Maybe a Tony Hutchinson, oh. maybe? Oh. Well, they were married. They've got a lot of history, you know. There's a lot going on between them, so who knows? And another person Mandy has history with is um, our favourite Mr Warren Fox. Do you think <sighs> she could be the person to break up, and this is such a tongue twister, I'm so sorry if I can't say it, Rowena, Rowena. Warrena. Who knows? I mean, again, they've got history and a lot went on between them, so their paths may cross. And how, what was your gap between being on Hollyoaks and coming back to Hollyoaks? It's and been at least six years. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what's it like being back with everyone? It's just the best. I'm having the best time. It's great being back with Gary Lucy and all the old Woo! cast and new cast. And, Woo! and just loads of familiar faces, cast and crew, and I'm, I'm loving it. And what were you up to in the six years that you weren't part of Hollyoaks? Well, I had um, my daughter, Ming Ming, my oh. first one. She, yeah, she oh. looks just Thank like you. you. <laughs> Thank you. My smile. Um, and my little boy, Stanley, so that's oh. So, yeah, you're a mum, a mum. Um, so, which one is more trickier, <laughs> Ming Ming or Stanley? <laughs> well, I think Stanley is picking up some bad habits from Ming Ming. Like, you know, he's, he's getting a bit petulant and um, he's chesting and I think that's all come from Ming Ming's bad ways. <laughs> um, I feel like it's time to focus on Ming Ming because she is just so cute and I have heard that she is quite the fashion icon. Mm -hmm. So I set Sarah a challenge earlier to um, play a little bit of dress up and this one is called the Pug Life Challenge. Whoa. So let's see how she got on. Okay, Sarah, you've got Ming Ming. I have. We've She's... got the props. Yeah. Are you, are you feeling confident? I'm feeling so confident. Ming Ming is raring to go. You can tell. As She's you can really see, up for it. I mean, she's so up for this. Um, sh let's go. Yeah, I mean, I watch. Let's go. I'm just going to watch. Okay, you're going to watch. Come on, Ming Ming. Oh, look. Look at all these things for Ming Ming. Ming so Ming want... is so excited right now. Look, look. You're so excited. Do we want gangster, right? Yeah. We want kind pug of life. pug life. It's all about that pug life. Um, I mean, I'm really tempted by this because she really suits yellow. So maybe if we just pay place this on her. Oh, oh, see, look, she's getting into it now. She's <laughs> getting into it now. A uh, bit of a gold chain. Oh, yes, gold chain. that one. Yeah, how's that, Ming? I Good feel like her girl. whole demeanour's changed. Yeah, I mean, look how laid back she's gone. She's Do even, like, the arm down. There, oh, yeah. Can I just Good say, girl. my dog would never, ever let me do this. So I have a lot of respect for Ming I mean, Ming right look, now. What do you reckon? Maybe a bit more bling. I say, like, <laughs> never enough bling if you're a gangster. These are a bit Ali G. I think we'll go with those in a sec. Diamante? Yes. I mean, that's almost like a little tiara, isn't it? She's such a good girl. You need this on me, sorry, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you see, you know you want that on. There we go. Think it, we're feeling it, we're feeling it's it. Gangster time. Oh, yeah, Ming Ming. And then the piece de resistance. 
yeah, she's not feeling the allergy glasses. Maybe we just put yeah, them on put her them head. On swag. I'm kind of jealous of all that swag. I feel like I need uh, a little bit more now. Yeah. Well, there's plenty going. Here you go. Good. Can I have matching ones? Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Done. Oh. Pug life. Pug life. <laughs> That's how she rolls. Yeah. Me. Yeah, me, me. A lot of cards, a lot of likes are coming in. So I feel like everyone liked the pug life challenge, but no one more than uh, Ming Ming, who is <laughs> looking at herself on the screen and like really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm getting lots of nice comments as well. So um, Sonia says, "Welcome back, Mandy." Oh, thank you. Um, Kate said, it's, "Kate said, sorry, it's nice to have Mandy and Luke back." Um, Kieran says, "I love old characters coming back." And Abby says, "Hunter and Prince have got some groovy moves on them." <laughs> so keep the comments coming, and um, we're going to post a pic right now to the Hollyoaks Instagram page of the Pug Life Challenge. And I hate myself already for this joke, and I'm really sorry, but Ming Ming in Bling Bling. <laughs> Thank you so much and thanks to Ming Ming and um, we definitely cannot wait to see more of Mandy. Thank you. Right, it is time for me to introduce a new challenge. This is uh, the Domino's Weekly Challenge and as Theo already said, next week DS Armstrong is going to get away with stalking charges and he is back in the village which I'm so angry about. Um, so who better than Andrew Hayden Smith to um, announce the challenge, and I'm sorry, that this is like a tongue twister as well. It is called the How Strong is Armstrong's Arm <laughs> Challenge. I'll let him explain it. Hi guys, Domino's have sent me a challenge to see how strong Armstrong's arm is, where I'll find out if any other Hollyoaks actor's arm is as strong as Armstrong's arm. Confused? Yeah, me too. So basically, here's the rules. I've got to stand here holding 10 Domino's pizza boxes, like so. If the pizzas drop below the mark here on the post, then it's game over, and that's the time for the other guys to beat. So let's have my go. Ready? Start the clock. We could be here a while. I'm not leaning it on the post either. Don't let them lean it on the post. It is getting a bit heavy now. My arms are actually shaking. <laughs> We could be here for days. I'm glad I didn't go to the gym yesterday now. Get away. <laughs> you okay, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, he put me off. Oh. What? <laughs> So Andrew has set a time. Green Room, can you guess what time that he might have got? Uh, two months. Nah, I'll do about three minutes. He three, thought day. Malik says three minutes. Two. Two, two yeah. Two, two minutes. Should we have a look? So let's have a look. Andrew Hayden Smith, the time is one minute and six. Um, I feel like to judge how well he did, we need some challenges. So uh, let's have a little look at how Richard and Ellis got on. Woo! Okay guys, it's time to meet today's challenger for how strong are Armstrong's arms. Let's see who we've got. Come on in. It's Richard. I, I went okay. to the gym today as well. Oh, did so you? Just, just, just get the excuses okay. in there. Everyone uses an excuse, don't they? Okay, three, two, one, off you go. I feel like I should just be start telling some pizza based jokes, but I don't know any. I don't know any. What must have just died? You're alright, you've got to kick me. I'm gonna kick you. I will involuntarily kick you, Alice. You have to keep your arms straight. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, that's cheating. Okay, I'm not going to disqualify you for dropping the boxes. Good, because I definitely beat your you, time. You probably <laughs> did beat me, yeah. But that's your time up, okay? okay. So let's find out how you did. <laughs> yeah, so um, how do you think Richard did? Do you think he beat him? Do you think we beat Andrew? Let's have a little look. <laughs> exactly, drum roll. Oh! 1.43! Okay, let's go back to BT and find out how Ellis did. Today's next challenge of a house stronger Armstrong's arms is Hollyoaks legend Ellis Hollins. Hello. Hello. Oh. Thank you for that nice little intro. <laughs> I feel quite welcome now. I like I like your technique here, but I'm afraid that's not gonna wash. Mm. Three, two, one, off you go. There we go, yeah. 
This is straight. This is gonna be. We've got to straighten them up. Yeah. Otherwise, this is way too easy. Now he's like beefing. Yeah, I don't think so. Come on, come on, come on. That that does nothing now. I am now. I forgot you're not ticklish at all. He has no feeling. Nothing. He's not no feeling at all. Yeah, I'm just going to have to resort to that. You are so desperate. Still got it. That's why he's a legend. This is gonna be a time lapse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, Alice, oh. you dropped it. Oh, what, what a shame! Never mind, Alice. Richard, that was uncalled for. That was pretty good, Alice. Before you, you you were put off there by Richard. I was really interrupted. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. I'm going home. It's fine. Let's find out how you did. What do you think? Did, he, did Ellis beat Richard? Did he beat Andrew? Also, can we note how nice Andrew is in real life? I feel like I just can't like him because I hate D.S. Armstrong so much. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Drum roll, please! Whoa! I guess that proves that, proves that it's, um, it helps not to be ticklish. What about um, guys in the green room? Do you think that you could win the challenge? Let's go to the girls. Oh, you would, you. <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. I think we'd beat the boys, wouldn't we? Come on, the girls. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like we need some girls in next week's challenge to <laughs> beat that. Um, so let's move on to the final part of the show, and we will be chatting about Lily's upcoming storyline with Alex Fletcher and Lauren McQueen. But first, let's look at a clip, and this is a real exclusive because this is a clip from tomorrow night's E4 episode and watch closely because we're about to give away a huge reveal. Okay. What do you think? You saw them all staring at me, scoring a Haiti? Doesn't matter what other people think. You don't know how it feels? Everyone gawping at me like I'm some kind of freak? You're not a freak, you're beautiful. Scar or no Scar, you're still the fittest girl I've ever seen. You're just saying that out of guilt? I mean every word. I know what you're really thinking. Making fun of me. Looks like I've done ten rounds with Wolverine. What? Is that what actually someone said? Your dad? When it turns out about yours the other night? I'll kill him for this. I have no idea what it took to turn up with me, Scar Shaman. He took one look at me and made me feel disgusting. How could I stay after that? Then why didn't you tell me this when I showed up at yours? I honestly thought that you stood me up. I came round to make up. And instead, I find you with her. It's not Yasmin that I want, it's you. I've been crazy about you since the first day that I saw you. Look what I did to you. Scar, Yasmin, everything. I hate myself for hurting you. It makes me feel sick. Just tell me what I can do to make it better. Please. I'll do anything. You can't fix us, Prince. We're over. Even our palm tree is sad. Um, Jodie got in touch to say, Lily is such a great actor, she's doing this storyline so well. And joined with me right now, we have Lauren McQueen, who plays Lily and Alex Fletcher. Um, um, guys, Lily's obviously going through a really tough time, so um, what's going on? Um, well, I think the most toughest thing that we'll all agree that she's been going through is the car crash, and that's brought so many problems for her. She's been struggling to come to terms with this permanent scar that she's had. It's knocked yeah. her confidence and she's got, she's just so self-conscious and it's stopping her from moving on, as you can see with Prince. She's just putting all, all sorts of barriers up with everybody, yeah. isn't she, really? And not talking about things, which is, leads on to yeah, makes the next things worse. Line. Yeah, why yeah. do you think Lily is having trouble talking to people? Well, she lost her mum, didn't she? And yeah. then she's had this traumatic crash and... Well and then obviously through. we've been through a big crisis with Scott yeah. um, and the family well Diane didn't react very well to that so I think Lily's got a lot of problems that she feels she can't bring to the table because she, she doesn't, doesn't want to upset the family Yeah, anymore. and adds more pressure to them and they're going through so much with Stay and 
she just thinks it's best to keep it to herself. Keep it quiet, that's yeah. what she's doing. And obviously you mentioned the Scott storyline and we saw how not talking doesn't help. Mm -hmm. So um, what, what happens for Lily? Um, well, as you can say, she breaks up with Prince and I don't think the fans are going to be very happy because they've got like the most on and off relationship ever. Um, but it's because the remark that Sh Shane makes about her scar and it's just, it's all got too much for her and you'll see tomorrow on E4 that she self-harms for the first time. Um, she gets humiliated by Yasmin and it, she thinks it's her way of dealing with things but at the end of it, she, you know, it's made things where she regrets what she's done and she's just so shocked. And why do you both think that it's such an important story to tell? Oh, it's such a huge responsibility um, for everybody involved really with this storyline, especially for Lauren, who's yeah. doing a fab job. I just you are, say. you're amazing, really. Um, and I, I think the most important message for, you know, for all the viewers and for anybody is to, you know, talk to people, you know, confide in, in your friends and your family and don't, don't hold it all in. It's okay to not feel good and it's, you know, just share your feelings, really, yeah. and, and if you some fabulous charities out yeah, there. Yeah, if they're scared about talking to the friends and family, we've yeah. been working with Samaritans and Mind who help people every day, and, you know, that's another way they can get in touch with if them. If they don't feel they can talk to friends and family, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. And, um, Alex, what more can Diane do to help, do you think? Oh, I think Diane just needs to listen a little bit more and, you know, not, not judge everything that Lily does. I think because Lily is such a... A good girl, and you know she's she, Diane. Just thinks she's this perfect little person, and she's, you know, she's unbreakable kind of thing. And just she needs to listen to her and and make make her feel like she can open up to her. And why do you think uh, Prince's betrayal has affected Lily so much? I think because at this time she's going through so much, and she doesn't expect to walk in on Prince and Yasmin in bed. Like that's the worst poss possible thing that can happen. Um, and she just hoped, she hoped that he'd be there for her more and, and he'd be the person that she'd talk to and now she doesn't want to even talk to him. I know. And I, Diane's not a big I, fan of no. Prince. I was going to say that. <laughs> I love him. Prince. She's, yeah. I yeah. love Prince and Lily and I feel like, I'm sure that you have like an I told you so moment, but I'm not going to ask this to you, this one, <laughs> because I know the answer, but Lauren, will they rekindle their love or is it over? Well, it's going to take a lot for Lily to forgive Prince, but, you know, it's Prince and he might do something crazy to make, him, make her forgive him. We'll have to wait and see. I can see in your face that you're not happy about that. <laughs> you know what? Diana has got a soft spot. <laughs> She's got a soft spot for Prince, but I think she knows that he's, he's a little bit of a naughty boy. Isn't he? But Lily just does it anyway, doesn't she? Yeah, she's <laughs> like, whatever, die. Yeah. <laughs> and we've, I think we've all been there. It's love. It's love. Um, you're both doing such an amazing job on the storyline, so thank you for talking to me. Thank and you. I, I really you. hope that Lily finds happiness. And if you're watching this and you feel that you relate to the storyline or you just want to talk to someone, then um, as uh, Lauren mentioned, there are two amazing charities, Samaritans and Mind. Or if you go to the support page on the Channel 4 website, there's lots of information for you there as well. And it is nearly time to say goodbye, which makes me really sad. But first, it is time to show you a sneak peek of next week. And let's find out what has scared Cindy so much. Armstrong, you nasty man. I'm pretty sure that he probably ruined my country. <laughs>
Um, lots of you are leaving lots of comments. So Sadie said, Prince and Lily are so cute. Jack says, Mandy's amazing. Elizabeth says, I absolutely love Lily and Prince. Um, Sonia says, I love Ming Ming. Um, yeah, there's so many comments, so thank you. And it is nearly time to go. But I have two quite exciting things before I go. Exactly. The first one is we have a Domino's promo code for you. you <laughs> Someone is very excited about that as well. I am. Um, you can get 30% off if you spend £15 or more, and that is valid until Sunday, so that is your weekend. <laughs> you have to do is enter in caps so summer into the promo code and remember that TNCs apply yeah. <laughs> and number two is that next week's Hollyoaks slice of summer which will be the same time same place Facebook live 434 with Domino's is going to be an extra special one it I mean more than that it's going to be huge <laughs> guys it is a soap first yes! so please promise me that you are going to be here next friday 4 34 um, loads more secrets to reveal as well so uh, thank you so much to all the guests in the green room and uh, don't forget to watch hollyoaks tonight and uh, goodbye Woo!